Maybe, maybe can't go on TV, but that's, that's our house chance. We are. Although it's very, um, I guess, more in the media in the U.S. now than ever before, it doesn't mean that it's widespread across the world. So seeing how they brought it from the U.S. to this other country and brought this sense of um, family and acceptance is truly beautiful. I really like how the central um, theme of the whole thing is that you know, you, you've created this house because I personally didn't know the background of it fully, um, the background of ballroom in general. But, um, you know, having a selected mother, a selected father and having a selected family, which I think is a great analogy for that whole saying of, um, you know, family's thicker than blood and that you get to choose your family, like regardless of who it is, it's up to you who um, you choose to be in your life. And I think it's a really beautiful example of that and how you can come from different walks of life. And at the end of the day, all people really want is to be accepted and to have that group of people they can depend on and lean on. And the fact that these people are able to get that with each other and through ballroom and feel a sense of acceptance and self-worth is absolutely beautiful. And I thought it was great. Um, I love the documentary style of it. I felt like I was really in it. I love seeing everyone's... Um, kind of their histories and where they came from, why they found a place with each other and why ballroom and their house means so much to them. I loved being so warmly and openly welcomed into this fabulous house, um, this group of chosen family from different areas of the globe who come together in the spirit of performance and competition and breaking it down on the dance floor. Uh, it was great to get the history of ballroom um, and then zoom whoop, specifically into this specific scene in Taiwan. And I thought the cinematography was fabulous. I, I really did feel like it was an immersive piece because I felt like I was actually there cheering them on. Um, and I, I, we got introduced to these performers in a really lovely way because we got the traditional interview direct address, which is great to get someone's story and really focus on the storytelling, where they come from, how they got there. But then we got to meet them through their craft at the ballroom, taking it to the floor and uh, through these engaging performances and their vibrant costumes, the moves and uh, how they come to battle, essentially. So I, I really loved this piece. I thought it was really well edited. I thought it flowed brilliantly, but still had a fun playfulness to it. I thought the piece uh, really did a great job of highlighting the um, central performers and that environment and sort of their inspiration and sort of the uh, cultural and the uh, communal aspect um, of the ballroom um, dance scene and how uh, translating it across cultures is so important and how a lot of these ideas do translate um, across cultures and uh, having a space to express yourself and perform and be around people um, who are accepting of who you are is uh, so vital for um, uh, your sense of identity and your mental health. And I thought that the piece had um, a good way of sort of highlighting that in a way that was um, empathetic and uh, compassionate. So I thought the piece was um, well done overall for those reasons. I thought it was really, really fascinating. Um, so I love that they included a little bit of the, the history of it, but then they also made a really good not case, but like they really underlined what the core values of like its origin were and the kind of things that they try to keep with them today of like being a house of acceptance and, you know, having a chosen family and having a place where you could just be yourself and not feel, you know, judged or like you don't fit in or any of, of, the, of, the, of those things. So I really liked that they also took the time to not just talk about their particular house and what also a competition is and what that looks like and some of the terminology that would be really confusing if you're not involved in that kind of culture, um, but also that they really highlighted the their core values, um, which 
you know, all the rest of it, I think one of them was saying, all the rest of it is really fun and there's like attitude and sass and there's all of these other things that are great to celebrate, but at the core of it, they're a family and they're a place of acceptance. And I, I really liked that they took the time to highlight that because I think that everything else is really flashy and everything else is kind of attention grabbing, but at the end of the day, that is actually what is important. It's all about community and bringing people together in a place where you don't really feel like you belong anywhere. Um, you can find a home here. They accept people of all identities and this gives them a space to just be, to show up as you are, to come together and to um, have a community and dance it out. I think it's very important to have a space uh, of an accepting community, especially in a world for people like us that it's not so um, accepting. You know, we still, it's 2023, yet there are still very many LGBTQIA plus issues out there on the table that we're fighting for rights. Um, a lot of things in this nature, yet this community started with two people two individuals, and they have grown it to be a full house of individuals that have resonated with their message. And I think it's a beautiful uh, way to encapsulate the history of just this uh, small community at the Kiki House. It's a very fascinating profile. Uh, looking into this group, you get to learn more about them and just also learning more about uh, not only the process of this uh dance group or the concept of ballrooms but also getting a more deeper insight to why they do it uh learning that not only is this a place to express oneself but it's a place to find a community or find a place of belonging which is something that a lot of them have expressed um it's very hard to find in the world sometimes uh, a lot of people especially with the origin of <clears throat> with the origin of ballrooms uh it started with people losing that family but having to find a family anew uh so it was very fascinating to kind of learn not only uh more about this uh form of dance this uh gathering but also just uh, the deeper meanings behind it of this is a place of community. This is a place to be who you are without the fear of uh, judgment or criticism. You told me everything I needed to know, but not ne necessarily in the order which I'm used to. So I like this a lot. I like that you said vases are beautiful and hold something beautiful. So I love now I understand the title and why you named it that. So really cool, um, meaning named your house that, like the house of vase. I love that a lot. Um, you're a family, which is cool. And it's like a chosen family. Like, I don't know much about that community. So it's really great to hear, you know, about all of this and kind of be brought into your community for, you know, nine minutes or, or less. Um, but I thought it felt longer than that in a good way, actually. You guys really did pack a lot into this this short. Um, just nice explanation of everything and nice interviews. I like that you guys have a place where you can go and feel like you can express yourselves openly and um, and that anybody is allowed to come in and, and express themselves. Just a really, really cool documentary and the struggle, you know, being real and still to this day. Um reminds us of our, you know, to be aware and to be inclusive. So 